Let's build a simple DC motor using magnets to illustrate the motor effect. You will need two magnets with the poles on the flat sides, a steel yoke, the motor support base, a rotor, an axle, two split pins, four rivets, a miniature rubber band that can be cut from a small rubber tube, a power source, a couple leads with alligator clips, electrical tape, and a wheel of insulated wire. Cut around one meter of the wire and strip one of the two ends. Take your rotor and wrap one end with a small piece of electrical tape. With the stripped end of the wire, make a small loop. Wrap the rest of the wire tightly around the rotor to form your coil. Once you've reached the end of the wire, strip the other end so that you can once again make a small loop that sits on the other side. Stretch the rubber band over the wire. The two loops are now the motor's split ring commutator. We need to connect the motor to the base. The split pins go into the base. Put the axle through the rotor and between the split pins. Cut two lengths of wire around 15 centimeters long. Strip both ends of the two wires and these will be used to connect our motor to the power source. Push the four rivets into the base. Loop one of the wires around and under the rivets. The uninsulated section needs to reach the split ring commutator. Do the same on the other side with the other wire. I find it much easier if you make a loop with the wire first before clipping it beneath the rivet. Once they are both in, you can put electrical tape over them to prevent the rivets from popping out. Each lead needs an alligator clip. Then connect the leads with the wires. Put the magnets on the steel yoke, making sure opposite poles are facing inward. I used some blue tack to secure the base on the steel yoke to prevent it from moving around once the motor is on. Now let's connect the leads to a battery pack. I need to make sure the wires are just loosely touching the split ring commutator. This is so that electrical contact is maintained while allowing mechanical movement. It seems like there is a tiny bit of movement here, but not enough to keep the momentum going. So I decided to increase the number of turns of the coil by wrapping 1.5 meters of wire around the rotor instead of just using one meter of the wire. And here's your homemade simple DC motor. Thanks for watching till the end of the video lesson. If you found it useful, be sure to subscribe.